good morning and welcome to Jen Jiggles. This is a short one today. Um, I'm happy you're one that I've lost since I saw you last Thursday, Friday. I have lost uh, 2.6 pounds and I'm really pleased with myself because, you know, hello, I should be, right? Um, there's been a lot of exercise and healthy eating, lots of salads going on, um, and lots of... We still had takeaway, but it was very healthy takeaway. Kind of upset my stomach a little bit and Ian's too, but it was okay. Yeah, we're doing really great. And I found a glass water bottle at Morrison's grocery store, which is really good. So I'm very happy because I wanted glass and not plastic. And I'm just having some strawberry infused water right now. Um, we've been doing a lot of work outside, which has been, you know, my primary bit of exercise. Uh, I did do Richard Simmons again. Uh, but yeah, most of it's been, you know, just really sort of heavy lifting work sort of stuff. So that's really good. Um, I hope everything's going well with you and that you're rested and healthy eating and exercising and getting out there for the summer because tomorrow is August 1st and autumn is coming. I'm so excited. 92 days till Halloween. <sighs> and you can hear my little Halloween guys going tick tock, tick tock. 92 days until Halloween. It's pretty cool. Don't look at my hair. It's been a bad hair day. And me little witch girl. She says hi. And me t'other pumpkin. And I'm getting a ghost. Say hello. Jack. I'm Jack the Pumpkin King. Um, so anyway, enough of that. So what have I been up to other than that? Um, first things first. Sorry, I keep shifting around. I got a couple pairs of jeans and they were like way too long. So I hemmed them. You can kind of see the shadow line right there. But not when you're wearing them. So yeah. So I got those hemmed. There's a special hem. Just, uh, just on Pinterest, uh, search, um, uh, invisible hem for jeans or something like that i did and it worked um today cutting out pattern pieces i didn't get the right fabric i got well i did get the right fabric for a red outfit but i didn't get the fabric for the purple so i have to order purple fabric and purple felt so i'm doing the red one today i am using this natural cotton for the inside of the shell which will be great because um it doesn't have any of the glue in it. It is like a uh, needle craft stuff. So it just, it's pushed through to a base. So it's really good. And it was less expensive than polyester. What the spork. I'm so grateful. Then again, cotton farming is sometimes not good for the environment. So yeah, there's a trade off. Anyway, sorry, I went out of the picture again. So the fabric came for Donatello. I don't know which one it is. And all the felt came for both of the costumes for knee pads, shells, mask for Donatello. This is the sash for Donatello. Mask for Donatello is the red uh, and the hat that goes with it. And the yellow is the belly of the shell. It's not really yellow, it's mustard. So I have to order purple and purple and then I'll be done. Yeah, really happy. Uh, gonna cut those pieces out this morning. Um, I have gotten some spinning done, but my wheel is back up here. I'm nearly done with that ugly bit of spinning that I had. Oh my God, my hair looks so horrible. Look at that. Oh, God. Anywho, uh, yeah, so I did that. I did some organizing of fabric. Um, I'm almost out of fabric now, except for scraps. And I found a new pattern for a Halloween quilt. If you just hang on one second, I'll pause this and go grab the pattern and show it to you really quick. Hi, back. Um, it's called the Boot You Mystery Quilt. I don't know, Kim, you might have done this at some point. It was all new to me. Um, so it's free pattern. Um, if you want the link to it, let me know and I'll send it to you. Um, but that's what it looks like when it's done. So, yeah, it's all right. Um, well, it basically shows you, if you go to the four, 
Worth Fabric Studio website, it's go to patterns and then go to page two and it shows free patterns and it's on that. So yeah, so I'm gonna be making that little baby. But I think, I think what I'm gonna do is make it bed size and so I can use it in the fall for my bed for the month of September and October. So I did that. Another thing that came, which I didn't get a chance to show you, was I ordered a new suit for Ian for work and some shirts. And with that, I got a free summer beauty box from Marks and Sparks, Marks and Spencers. And this Shea and Blue perfume was in it. And it says they were established in 2012, but this smells so lovely. It is lovely. If you can get this in America, you should definitely buy that. Oh my god, it is so nice. And I love the atomizer in it because you can spray a lot or a little bit. <sighs> Doesn't hurt my sinuses. Anyway, so I got a free summer beauty box from Marks and Sparks. And you open it up, there was some pink stuff in it. But I was really surprised at how much stuff came in it. I never use this stuff, but it's dry shampoo. So I don't know what this smells like. Oh, it smells nice, actually. Um, I got an energizing face mask. I got eye gels. I actually have some of these, not this brand, but I have some eye gels and they are really nice to put on. Um, yep, this is moist, SPF moisturizer for your face. This is Fatigue Body Wash by Ren. I used to be honest with you, I haven't. Oh my god, it's so spicy. It smells really good. It smells, oh, I don't know, like pterodon. Um, this is a tinted multivitamin leg thing. So I'm assuming it basically tans you. It's one of those tanning things. Oh yeah, look. There you go. Let's see what it looks like on. I shall show you. Oh, it gives you a little, a little bit of a glow. Here. Do you see the glow? Probably not. Here. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be cutting pattern pieces out. My husband's outside working and I feel like such a wretch. Okay, let's put some of this stuff on. Rub it in. Fake tan. Nothing wrong with a little fake tan. I'll leave a couple of my fingers not done. So you can see. There's the glow. See? Not glowy. Glowy. Not glowy. Ooh, my elbow's dry again. Um, yeah. So that's supposed to, if I was ever going to show my fat legs out in public, yeah. I would do that. Ooh, it smells lovely. But yeah. That's what a tan looks like on when you rub it on. Can't wait to wash it off. <laughs> I look like one of those people from Strictly Come Dancing. Um, what is this? Oh, it's a face mask. I wonder what that's like. No! Half overboard. Oh, that smells nice. Oh my god, that smells like banana boat suntan lotion. <laughs> is it banana boat? Is that what it's called? Oh, I totally want to use that now. <laughs> and, let's see what else we got. Got a couple more things here. We have radiant highlighter. I'm assuming it's I'm I'm assuming it's Oh my god, everything's got sparkle in it like 1972. Who 
Look at that. My mom used to wear shit like that. God, I look like a Greek god now. <laughs> And last but not least, reduces areas of dark, oh, I could use this on my face, I'm getting, um, I'm getting, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, liver spots on my face, so maybe that will, maybe that will, this will help. It reduces areas of dark pigmentation and high color. And visible signs of aging. Well, this tube's not big enough. <laughs> no, it's not big enough to reduce my signs of aging. <laughs> Need about a 55 gallon drum of this shit. What do we have here? Let's see what it smells like. It smells like absolutely nothing. So wait, is that skin bleach then? Who knows? God knows I need it now. After my tanning. Jesus. Anyway, yeah, so that is my free box of stuff. Thank God he didn't need a suit because I needed a treat. That just boosted my mood. <clears throat> I'm going to have some fun with that stuff later. Give myself a spa day. Anyway, yeah. So, I think I've shown you everything that I'm doing or am going to do or will be doing or... God. Who would put that shit on their body? Me, obviously, because, you know. Like, there you go. Sun. No sun. Sun. <laughs> no sun. I like my pasty English skin better, I think. Ugh. Does it come off on everything? It does. Super. Anyway, that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I will be back on Monday for my regularly scheduled podcast. But, yeah. And that short turned into 12 minutes. Not short. Anyway, I hope you're all okay. Um, everything's going well for you. And... Yeah, stick to it. You can do it. I will talk to you later. Take care of yourself.